good morning. Uh, I'm Klaus Ley. I'm at the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology, and I'm the 2017 Distinguished Lecturer at the ATVB meeting. I've been a member of the ATVB uh, community since the beginning of these meetings, and I'm very fond of this meeting, and I'm very grateful and humbled uh, to be chosen as a Distinguished Lecturer. So my lecture today will be on exploiting protect protective autoimmunity to prevent atherosclerosis by vaccination. Um, this is not only science, this may also have practical consequences for preventing cardiovascular disease. So let me explain. A few years ago, uh, we discovered that uh, CD4 T cells uh, interact with antigen presenting cells in the vessel wall and especially in the plaque area of atherosclerotic mice and uh, we discovered also that this is restricted by what is called MHC class 2, which is an immune molecule that is necessary for antigen recognition by CD4 T cells. Now, this all may sound quite arcane, but what this means is uh, that uh, once we have the correct antigens and the correct formulation, it should be possible to produce a vaccine against atherosclerosis. So, uh, soon after that, we started developing such a vaccine based on uh, ApoB. Uh, you all know that uh, ApoB is the apolipoprotein of LDL and that LDL is uh, required uh, for development of atherosclerosis. So, turns out that in atherosclerosis, uh, the LDL is taken up by macrophages and dendritic cells and um, chopped into little pieces and the peptides of ApoB are presented by these antigen presenting cells. And uh, there are uh, CD4 T cells in our bodies that recognize uh, these peptides. So in uh, the human ApoB molecule, there are 30 such peptides, also called epitopes. And um, we have made reagents so that we can see the specific CD4 T cells for the first time. Um, this works both in mice and in humans. Um, and so by seeing these T cells, we can ask, what are they? Now, CD4 T cells come in different flavors. So T helper 1 cells are known to be pro-atherogenic. They drive atherosclerosis. And regulatory T cells are known to be anti-atherogenic. They prevent atherosclerosis. And it turns out that in healthy mice and healthy humans, most of these cells are regulatory T cells, so the good guys. However, in the course of the disease, uh, we see an increase in T helper 1 and other types of CD4 T cells that accelerate atherosclerosis. With the vaccination, we can expand the good guys, the regulatory T cells. Among other cytokines, they make interleukin 10 a known atheroprotective cytokine, and um, that prevents atherosclerosis in mice. So we've tested several of these peptides in hundreds of mice and saw very good protection, very consistent, very reliable. We know mostly how it works. Um, and uh, excitingly, we find the same CD4 T cells in people. Now, we cannot currently vaccinate people because we don't have a GMP produced vaccine and we don't have clinical trials yet. The American Heart Association last year had a competition for one brave idea, and we put together a team uh, of about uh, 15 investigators, clinicians, clinical trialists, cardiologists, epidemiologists, immunologists, um, basic scientists, to basically go forward with that vaccine. Even though we did not win uh, the One Brave Idea competition. It was really a great experience because in the course of that competition, we had to think through what it takes to get there, what we need, what the next steps are, how, how can we formulate a vaccine and how can we test it. So um, with this in mind, uh, I'm very optimistic about uh, moving toward a real atherosclerosis vaccine. Uh, currently uh, looking for funding for that, uh, which could be uh, VC funding, it could be pharmaceutical funding, but 
My preferred route is to get foundation funding because uh, in the beginning when you start developing uh, such a project, uh, the capital is very expensive if you raise it uh, at the, on the VC market. And if I can develop, let's say, the phase one with foundation money, the end product uh, will be uh, much more affordable uh, for people around the world and can uh, hopefully prevent uh, cardiovascular disease um, for many people. Um, I'm also grateful uh, for the American Heart Association's uh, support over the years, especially of the young people. American Heart uh, has two wonderful programs, the postdoctoral fellowships and the scientist development grants, and these are really instrumental in uh, getting young people off the ground. The especially the scientist development grants are wonderful career beginning grants, and this is portable money, which means that uh, the postdoc who gets this award can take the money once they get a faculty position. And this has been an extremely successful program. I'm very grateful for the American Heart uh, that they can uh, are able to do this. Thank you.